and he liked to push buttons, but we got along real good because I'm the same way. <laughs> so we'd sit down and we'd see who could push more buttons on each other. <laughs> what was it, like 12 years ago, Delia? No, well, actually more. Like 17 years ago, he showed up and he was gonna teach me how to box. He was already an old man. <laughs> so, so I think we all know how that went. But actually, the spirit that he lived and the way he lived, a lot of us get caught up in the rat race. Of we get involved, we have, we have a nice home, we have a new car. My uncle wasn't like that. He actually probably lived a fuller life than most of us here because he lived free to do whatever the hell he wanted. Yeah. And, and when he got bored of doing what he wanted, he came home and he visit us, or us poor losers that, that had to work every day. <laughs> um, he, had, he had a lot of tales to tell, but it wasn't really of him, you believing him, it was more of you seeing how much he was going to lie to you. <laughs> uh, in the last two years, we kind of, I moved out of town. I, I tell people, I grew up, he didn't, so we kind of lost touch. But he did live a full life. It's not how long you live, it's how you live it. And, and he, he truly lived a full life. He did what he wanted to do. And he even left when he wanted to leave. Not much of us could say that. Um, I talked to, what did, what did I talk to him? Like maybe a week and a half? Yeah. And it wasn't really that I called him, but I called my mom on a constant basis. and. She's usually complaining about how she had to run Carlos here, how she had to do something for or Carlos. Or he made me mad. Or how she made her mad. <laughs> and and, and we, we were talking. But one thing we can say about Carlos, my Uncle David was saying that, that my mom was the glue of the family. That's in more recent time. When I was a kid, I remember us living in Mexico, coming and going going to stay with my Aunt Sarah, visiting her. But I remember Uncle Carlos, he always came to see his mother. If there's one thing you can say, he was a crazy old man, but he really loved his mother. And, and he always looked out for her, and he always looked, tried to come to his family, even though we all wanted to kick him out after an hour or two of talking to him. <laughs> but, but he always came around. That's, that's, that's one of the people you say, yeah, that old man was always somewhere to be seen. And uh, that was Uncle Carlos. I think we've all said that he was ornery. And, and he was ornery. But it was just the way he was. We all have to remember that, like they were saying, they come from a different age. And it was a rough upbringing. And that's just the way Uncle Carlos grew up. And, uh, I, I'll, I'll, rem I'll remember more than anything the arguments. And when we weren't arguing, you guys know what we were doing? We were watching UFC fights. <laughs> and fighting over the fight. <laughs> but that was it. That's what I could say about Carlos. Thank you, Ivo.